Hello, Alexis Unger here. I am from the Mills County YMCA, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a clothespin puppet. I'm gonna start with the frog. I've got my materials laid out here. My clothespin is ready, scissors. I've got craft foam that I will be using today. You can also use construction paper if you don't have any of this foam. I'm gonna start with just a square of green. I'm gonna turn him over to the white side. I'm gonna grab my pen or my pencil, and I'm gonna start with just the frog sketch. I got a perfect square here. Easiest thing with a frog is to start with an oval. Two eyes, which are just little circles. He needs his big frog belly, and then he needs his webbed feet. And lastly, his little fingers. I know frogs don't have fingers, but this one does. Little frog there, I am not an artist by any mean. Next, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut him out. Going over his eyes, so any imperfections with your drawing, you can always fix them right here. Maybe his eyes weren't even, I can even them out here. Little rounded edge, big frog belly. Once I get down to his web feet here, you're gonna see I'm gonna have a scrap fall off. I'm not gonna throw this away, I'm gonna keep it for later. So not only are we creating, but we're also recycling. Because all these little pieces you can use on other projects. Keep going here. Gotta get his little fingers. When you're working with scissors, always make sure you ask for permission before grabbing them. Make sure someone knows you have them in your hand. Don't touch the blades. All right, got one more foot here. Sometimes our web feet don't all come out good. And that's okay, because not every frog is the same. Just like we're all different, every little clothespin puppet is different. They're all unique in their own special way. Just like you. All right, he's cut out there. You can see him there. Next, you see where his mouth is here? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut him in half. This is what's gonna create our puppet. So he's in two pieces. I'm gonna take my top half and I'm gonna peel back the white side. I don't wanna peel it completely off because he is sticky underneath. So this is avoiding me from having to use glue to attach him. I'm gonna snip that off. In this case, I'm just gonna tear it because it's sticking to my scissors. There we go. And I'm gonna attach that to the top part of my clothespin. Just like that. Next, I'm gonna take the second half and I'm gonna do the same thing right where his mouth is here. I'm gonna peel that back. We're gonna try snipping him this time. Makes it a little easier when you can get it in one smooth cut. There we go. Versus trying to fight it there. There we go. Now we have our frog. To finish him off, I'm gonna grab two eyes out of my cup here. Again, another little simple craft item. Might have it at home, might not. If you gotta draw your eyes on, that's okay. That's why we have markers. I'm gonna get two little dabs of glue. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna hook those eyes on there. And just like that, I've got a talking frog. And now he can talk to his buddy. So I've got croaker and ribbon. You can also make other things like a fish. Maybe you just have markers and wanna keep it simple. Minions are fun. And then lastly, I've got the little mermaid all in under the sea theme, but it all works. The opportunities are endless. What are you gonna create?